Okay, just to be fair to Western Digital, I did find one Seagate drive that has failed. And this one, but when they do fail, they fail catastrophically. There we go. There were metal shavings inside there. I don't know if you can see the damage to the platter there. That's the read and write head. It decided to break loose one day with a very audible pop. And then of course the the result was it the heads made a physical crash down onto the platters there. And I went to try and take this apart just for fun but but theoretically though the other heads are still intact so I could probably <laughs> format this drive and just I would just have bad tracks all across here on this platter here and the other ones would work fine that would be kind of funny but this made a really loud pop in fact it was so loud I I I thought I was going to find that the, the casing had cracked. Uh, but it didn't, I guess, at such a high speed when that little piece of uh, material there flew off and hit the wall of the hard drive case. That's what made the pop. Let's see, I got the circuit board's not connected. Maybe I should connect it and see if it'll spin up. Okay. Don't try this at home. Oh, well. It's not going to power up. Hmm. Okay, memory has slipped my mind. My mind has slipped my memory or something. I forgot when this drive failed like it did it it stopped working but well there's the bearing I was talking about underneath that blue piece you can get to that bearing there and you can lubricate these drives but this one is not going to power up which is probably good because I loosened this screw right here so the platters are just kind of sitting there. <laughs> but there you go, it's an ST251 and it's failed. I don't know if it's got a year. Oh, 1984? That could be an 84. Let's save it for the drive rails. Yep.